Hello, welcome to uh, part three of the Cyberpunk Hotel Bill. This is where we left off in part two. Uh, we've constructed the base in part one, then the top in part two, and now in part three, we're going to uh, add all of the walls and some pipes to the building. So but let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I'm doing is these uh, supports here. I'm just uh, gluing on some fresh, flat, clean pieces of cardboard. Uh, not that it really matters because we're gonna be covering it with plastic, but I just wanted to, I figured if it looked neat, uh, it'll be neat when we put the plastic on, so that's why I'm doing this. Now these uh, pieces of plastic came out of a projection TV. Uh, they were they was, were attached to the cathode ray, and when I saw them, I knew I had to use them. Uh, but it looks good on the building, so just gonna roll with it. That's why you don't miss an opportunity. If you pass something and there's some trash, uh, just pick it up. You might be able to use it for something cool. Now this is going to be the penthouse up top, this whole top floor, and it's just a piece from that projection TV. just more trim from a uh, computer monitor. These windows I'm adding here are for the rooms uh, right there, These little tiny little windows. And then just adding some more detail that leads to these uh, generators of some sort. And there we go. That that looks good. Gives it a little unique. Now, if you're squeamish, you might want to close your eyes, but uh, that's why it's important. If anyone who does any type of creating knows, the piece will tell you what it wants. And I sat for about a little over two days because I didn't want to do this. And then finally, I gave in because uh, this is what was needed. And turns out it would be a good idea. So this is just going to be a, a giant skylight uh, that so whenever you're laying down in bed or whatever you can look into the you know night sky see the twinkling lights of the building uh, I think that'd be pretty cool to uh, lay in bed and look outside a 20 foot wide by 12 foot tall uh, window Now this piece was deliberate because it gives uh, some balance with the with the generators on the right side. 
and it also is going to be uh, apartments underneath that little awning and give us the opportunity to run some pipes out those holes see yes, it gives it balance it's slight but it's balanced So it is somewhat uniform as you turn it around, all the lines uh, hopefully will uh, meet up. But I took away those pod rooms because they just weren't working. I might revisit that later, but uh, I think this is going to work out just as well. Now, for plastic. I love ABS, one of my favorite uh, plastics to work with. Uh, strong, durable, easy to form. Uh, I'm going to show you here how I do it. It's nothing fancy or, or groundbreaking here. Uh, but when you, I just use a little butane torch and quickly move, not letting it sit. But as you can see, I do it here. Show you for an example. Do not do that. If you let it sit, on there too long it will ignite and release uh, some poisonous stinky fumes and you don't want to inhale that so um, just make your flame go across it a couple times it will heat it up for, you know enough for you to bend it in shape see it's a couple times there still warm from the uh, first time quick bin and then I'm able to uh, finish shaping it and hold it in place until it hardens and I glue it on and uh, since it's too short I take another piece and just put over it Now this was the very first and first video where this was going to be a garage uh, but I'm thinking here I'm going to turn this into either a convenience store or a little shop of some sort. And this year I just uh, just threw some pieces together and what I think really made it was the, the little black piece because it was too short and I, I was like, I didn't want to use it because it wasn't enough. And I was like, well, that's the perfect opportunity. Uh, sometimes if the part is too short, uh, either shorten it a little bit more, uh, that way you can add parts on it to build on to it. And it just kind of gives it a cool look. I, I've got to do some more work to the front, but all in all, uh, once I put the doorways on each side of it, it's going to look nice. So some AC unit and pipes to run on that. I'm just painting our elevator car.
So I have little apartment windows there. Now I chose a black metallic primer paint uh, from Rust-Oleum. And then before it dried completely, I sprayed it with the acrylic. And as it starts to wear off a little bit, uh, before it dries, it starts to look like the paint is worn. Uh, so that way I didn't have to do any detailing on that. But uh, I'm going to add some more pipes about half that size. And uh, yeah, so that little uh, pipe in front of the building, you'll see here in a little bit. I'm going to extend it and have it go through the building. I'm going to paint those uh, doors. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to keep the yellow color for the elevator doors. There's our uh, skylight up there. Got to put a frame in on that. Gonna look pretty cool when it's done all right now you see that pipe the blue pipe on the front of the building you can see it running through between the two supports then have a 90 degree and up through that little area there on the back and then down with the little piece there on the bottom and we'll have some more pipes here and there and uh, electrical cables so this will do it for this uh, video part three I should have everything done and the next video so I don't want to drag this on longer than it has to uh, but I want to say thank you for everyone that has subscribed bringing us over the 100 subscriber mark so thank you and I want to thank uh, everyone who left some awesome comments uh, they're very encouraging and I appreciate it so other than that I want to thank you all for uh, watching and have a great day